okay he's dead i'm going to go for this guy over here with her one shot one kill that's what she says you're going to jump into this pvp mode into this raid mode you're not going to have the auto mode on and you're not going to be able to use your items so what you're going to need to do you're going to need to be active you're going to be able to join a clan you're going to have clan fights as well similar things uh, a lot a lot of zombies a lot a lot of big big bosses that you need to destroy by matching but don't forget that you're going to need these things over here from the training part so white survivor manual is really important for you to have and if you are are not able to pass a specific floor over here in the campaign mode don't bother you can just sweep the previous ones welcome to other games tv and let's go the walking dead match 3 70 percent of you that watch this channel frequently do not subscribe if you ever enjoyed one of my videos please would you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button it will really help this channel more than you know the bigger the channel the better the games get now this is going to be your offline income if you're going to collect all, all the rewards you're going to be able to collect food and wood over here in order for you to do a lot a lot of upgrades you're going to be able to craft eventually more and more things you're going to be able to build a lot a lot of extra extra features but as long as you're going to play in the campaign mode so you're going to be able to have those characters that you saw in the tv series a lot a lot of characters with different kind of number of stars on them you're just going to need to find the proper star for that character okay so like for example five stars don't bother upgrading the previous ones that you already have some of the characters over here you will recognize for sure if you have watched this tv series so let's go in the glossary over here these are going to be the characters it is tyrese over here the next one will be aaron so depending on how much did you play you're going to be able to unlock all of those uh, here it is related survivor so as long as you're going to have this kind of uh, let's say cards in your deck you're going to be able to get some extra extra buffs in a way for your main main team so you're going to be able to jump into campaign mode you're going to be able to fight over here with only five main characters okay a lot a lot of storyline to be told you're going to be able to put also some items that you can use like for example let's choose something from here i'm going to restore energy you now i'm going to put this one for hp and i'm going to jump into a fight now you're going to use backpacks over here so this is going to be your energy this is going to be regenerated so every 10 minutes or so you're going to be able to get one more extra backpack you're going to need this in order for you to play in the campaign if you are not able to pass a specific floor over here in the campaign mode don't bother you can just sweep the previous ones match it's a simple simple game most like you have played similar things in the campaign mode the good fact is that you have auto play mode on so eventually the game will go automatically you're just going to need to leave your phone on in order for it to do the proper matches now unfortunately it will not have the best strategy for you to actually be able to collect every every resource and do the amount, the biggest amount of damage that you can but it's still doable for you if you're not going to want to uh, let's say match everything in this game don't forget to use the skills of your heroes every time that you do have that possibility because you will lose that energy if you're not going to use it okay so try to use the skills as fast as you're going to see that they're activated in order for you to be able to collect afterwards more and more energy now the items over here are quite quite useful so uh, for example that item over there it uh, kind of gives bleed towards the enemies that are human in a way okay so over here i'm going to choose it like this i'm going to destroy those uh, defenses that my uh, let's say boss has over here and i'm going to put it again on auto mode now you're going to be able to join a clan you're going to have clan fights as well similar things uh, a lot a lot of zombies a lot a lot of big big bosses that you need to destroy by matching those tails over here those titles now not that hard you're just going to need to come every once in a while to collect that food and that wood and do more and more upgrades towards your building in order for you to be able to have a bigger storage where you're going to be able to pile up that uh, amount of food you want to play in those events so a lot of events that i saw over here and different kind of game modes as well i saw this that uh, endless tower that you see in those idle rpgs that you most likely have saw at uh, this uh, youtube channel and for sure you can give them a try so if you're a fan of those idle rpgs give uh, a watch over there on my playlist for sure you will find more and more idle games for you to play uh, let's see over here what i would do here it is strong enough but not that strong and i thought i would kill him but i didn't okay i'm gonna use this one and let's hope that he's dead okay here it is now besides the campaign mode you're going to have also pvp mode okay so in the pvp you're going to be able to fight other players unfortunately the 
the PvP mode it's quite quite easy uh, I saw better uh, let's say PvP game modes regarding the matches uh, style but for sure you can give it a try so the raids are the possibilities where you can do the PvP with other players as long as you're going to search an opponent you're going to be able to fight him now keep in mind when you're going to jump into this PvP mode into this raid mode you're not going to have the auto mode on and you're not going to be able to use your items so what you're going to need to do you're going to need to be active you're going to need to merge everything as fast as you can in order for you to be able to kill the enemy now one one important fact is uh, to choose the enemy that you do want to uh, let's say kill first okay so for example you can click on it and automatically all the skills that you will uh, afterwards uh, click on them to activate they will automatically go towards that specific uh, let's say character that you have over there okay so this is what you're going to want to do you're going to want to select for example the healer at first in order for you to be able to destroy it okay so keep in mind every time you're going to see a healer in uh, your enemy's team try to kill it as fast as you can in order for you to be able to destroy it faster now here it is a lot a lot of extra extra uh, matches that i saw over there now okay he's dead i'm going to go for this guy over here with her one shot one kill that's what she says and i'm going to go with this let's see okay he's dead and i'm going to try to use this one although i will not hurt him that much only with the blue one okay purple purple don't forget use the skills as fast as you can every time you're going to have them in order for you to not lose that energy here it is we're going to shoot not him dude and you missed him oh my god okay here it is Oh, the damage that he did. Okay, so he was supposed to be the first one that I needed to kill. As you probably noticed, he does a lot, a lot of damage. Okay, and I'm going to need to kill this guy as fast as I can before he kills me. Come on, do do your thing. Oh my God, you're moving too slow. Okay, so depending on the color, obviously you'll have different kind of attributes. Uh, more damage or less damage depending on the color keep that in mind so you do want to get the proper proper color for your enemy in order for you to do more and more damage now here it is i have looted something from him now you do need enough enough storage in order of you to actually be able to add everything everything up now you're going to have the modes over here the herd this is going to be uh, some sort of a world boss try to play over here as well uh, the good part is that over here you will have the automat uh, automatic mode over here the auto mode the disruptor over here uh, this is where you're going to be able to fight with the same idea so uh, some sort of event if you do uh, enough damage you will be able to qualify for more and more rewards but you need to do what you need to do the uh, damage in that circle that they are showing you if you're going to do that damage you will be able to stun your enemies okay so this is what you're going to want to do as long as you're going to keep them stunned in that specific position you're going to be able to do more and more damage and he will not hit you okay so that's really really important for you to keep that in mind every enemy that has that specific circle on him that's what you're going to want to do you're going to want to hit them in that specific position i'm going to flee over here because not, they do not want to keep you that much uh, don't forget you will have a lot a lot of free stuff even you're going to start to play this game so really really important if you're a fan of this tv series give this game a try not so many things to say besides the fact that you're going to be able to join an alliance over here in the alliance you're going to be able to fight the disruptor the guy that i just mentioned you will be able to have them over here as well and the high raise hell this is where you're going to have that endless tower that i just mentioned in those idle rpgs okay the stable over here you're going to be able to collect a lot a lot of rewards some of the other players will also attack you uh, don't forget that you're going to need these things over here from the training part so white survival manual is really important for you to have use these things white survival manual every time you're going to have those those are going to be really important for you to be able to upgrade your heroes now you're going to be able to recruit them quite quite a lot at first don't bother you will not have enough items for you to recruit new and new heroes but eventually you will get enough of those coins that you need in order for you to do more and more summons some of them you will have them uh, in uh, 
duplicate mode let's say and you will be able to increase different kind of things towards those heroes like for example activate extra extra skills so if you're going to go over here and activate the skill depending on how many copies do you have for that specific uh, character over there you're going to be able to increase different kind of things damage or if it's a support hero who knows what until next time take care and don't forget to subscribe bye